Vice President Biden is very optimistic about the future of this country. He knows on a very personal level how unemployment can devastate an entire family. I went to a Catholic prep school that my mom and dad couldn't afford. So as a teenager, Vice President Joe Biden landed his first job on the school's gardening crew. My working there had paid part of my tuition. That was the first job I had. He would later earn money as a lifeguard, a truck driver, and ultimately a lawyer before moving into politics. I think that's what people down here forget, that th this is about people's dignity. In the early 1950s, Biden was in third grade when his father was laid off. But I remember him sitting in the bed saying, Joey, I'm going to Wilmington, D Delaware. It's only 157 miles. I thought it was like, you know, forever. Biden went to live with his grandparents, and today he vividly remembers his father's sacrifice and calls it the longest walk a parent can make. And the longest walk is having to walk up those stairs like my dad did and say, I'm going to leave you here with Grandpa. Like his father, individual Americans and entire communities have been eviscerated and demoralized by unemployment. Like you, I was in a family where when there was a recession, somebody around my dad's table, brother, sister, neighbor, friend, was going to lose a job. Not everybody, but there was, it's, you know, it's real, it's tangible. Vice President Biden is passionate about finding jobs for Americans who want to work. These aren't minimum wage jobs. There are so many good jobs, but people don't know how to get to them. The administration is pushing for partnerships with local community colleges and businesses to ensure those workers are ready. We've talked to manufacturers who say, you know, what keeps them up at night isn't global competition, but finding American you know, workers with the skills. That's the point I was about to make. We need 635,000 more registered nurses. Average salary, 53,000 bucks a year. We have, you know, 300,000 men and women coming home from Afghanistan and Iraq with post-traumatic stress and or traumatic brain injury. We're, we're significantly short on psychiatric nurses. The Ready to Work plan includes training programs for the disabled, for college graduates in need of new skills, and for those who have been out of work for several years. For someone who has been out of work uh, a long time and really wants to work, it is really debilitating. And that's the hardest nut to crack, and that is the, the long-term unemployed. But that's what we're working on very hard. Before we closed, we asked the second most powerful man in the United States what his next job would be. Well, I hope the next one will be uh, one that's fulfilling. <laughs> In his report, the vice president said having the most highly skilled workforce in the world is the key to economic success. We've posted that ready-to-work plan on our website. At the White House, Andrea McCarran, WUSA 9.